Let's have a look what it says for Aries. Here, uh, using that chair, mate. Sure. Shift up there. How about this, what it says for the old ram? Now then, oh yeah. Big changes are coming. You will go on a journey. Well, that'll be a change, I must say. Oh, no, look, here's a good bit. You will meet a nice boy who will make you a good husband. Well, that'd be nice for me, wouldn't it? Not just vulgar. Hey, Jack, what time is you out there? Uh, plenty of time yet, mate. Come and sit down, Fred. Yeah, come and sit next to me, Fred. Oh, yeah, right, watch sorry. her, Fred. She's looking for a husband. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Anybody in particular? No, nah, she's not fussy. She can't afford to be. <laughs> Take no notice of him, Fred. You're not married, are you? No, I haven't been caught yet. Oh, well, you never know what might happen, do you? Oh, yes, I do. That's why I haven't been caught yet. <laughs> yeah, look, it's a good bit for me here. Yeah, look, someone in authority may turn nasty. Oh, but... Yeah, well, they don't nasty, isn't they? Lounging about, as usual, are you? That's right, yeah. Oh, now, have a little laugh out there, good. I don't suppose anyone's bothered to read my notice I've put on it. No, we ain't got time to read your rubbish, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, I should find time to read my rubbish if I was you, because it concerns you, like. Mm. Go and have a look at it now. Come on. We are being absorbed by the National Bus Company. Oh, yeah. I'm awfully sorry to have to tell you, but there will be certain redundancies. What does that mean? It means you can hand in your uniform for a start. Oh, good. Am I going to get a new one? <laughs> You're not getting one at all. You're getting a sack. Sack? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't mind. I'm going to get married. My stars say it. Yeah? Well, all you've got to do now is find a fella to say it, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, how come you're sacking Olive, then? Because she's a trainee. All trainees will be given their notice by the end of the week. <laughs> Other certain redundancies will follow short. Hang about, mate. You can't make nobody redundant without prior consultation with the union. And I'm the shop steward, so that means me. Don't give me that old acid, Arthur. All this has been agreed with the unions at national level. Ah, uh, just a minute. Nobody said nothing to me about it. No? Well, of course, the chairman of the National Bus Company didn't feel the necessity to consult you, Arthur. Look, I'm the shop steward, and I? Yes, well, if you'd have been at the union meeting here last week, you'd have heard all about it, wouldn't you? Well, who else is going? Well, read it, Michael. Can't you read, boy? Don't you know what it says? Look, it tells you there. Redundancies will be affected on the basis of last in, first out. Who's that, then? You. <laughs> oh, blimey, I've only been here a week. I've got a bullet already. Yeah, well, I'm all right. I've been here for years. Oh, that's nice. There is another basis for redundancy. Oh, yeah, what's that, Ed? Them I can't stand the sight of. <laughs> no, you can't sack me. Oh, no? I could have a blooming good try. No, Charles, mate, I'm fireproof, ain't I? I might inform you, Arthur, that your number 11 bus route to the cemetery gates has been taken over by the Eastern Bus Company. <laughs> so I should start looking for a job if I were you, mate. Your days here are numbered, Arthur. <laughs> numbered. Well, I'll settle, mate. <laughs>